Welcome to the SpaceClaim basic training on the pull tool. To start this exercise, open up the basic pull basics file, which we'll be using for the training. When you open this geometry, you'll notice that off to the right of this part, there's a point. So let's start studying the pull tool based on this one point. If I activate my pull tool by selecting it from the ribbon bar on the top of my window and then click on the point in the design window, you'll notice that by clicking and dragging holding down my left mouse button, I can pull that point into a line. And I'll click in white space once I complete. I can also select on that line and then click and drag that line into a surface. Again, click in white space once I'm done to clear my selection. So pulling on points and pulling on lines creates lines and surfaces respectively. I can also click on that surface to select it on my screen and click and drag anywhere in white space to pull that surface into a solid object. and now any modifications that I want to make I can pull on those faces so clicking and dragging on the top face or with my left mouse button again clicking and dragging on the front face to change that face if I want to create new geometry I can sketch on this top face so I'll click on that top face with my left mouse button choose my circle tool from the sketch group and then click once to place the center click twice to place the diameter and return to the pull tool now that new imprint that I created I can click on to select and click and drag up into a pin or down and through into a hole. And the diameter of that hole can be modified as well by clicking and dragging on it with the pull tool. Okay, enough with that one solid that we created. Let's now focus on the original solid. So I'm going to hover over the new solid that we created in our structure tree on the left left click once to select it and then uncheck the box next to it to hide it from view and let's also reorient ourselves by hitting the home button in our orient group so with the pull command you'll notice that when I pull on a face it gives me an offset value highlighted in blue from the original dimension that I'm measuring I can always type in a value for that offset so I'll type in 20 and hit enter to offset that 20 millimeters or I can select on that face and from my mini tool guide that pops up after I left mouse button click I can choose the ruler tool by clicking on that and then this allows me to choose another reference on my geometry to dimension off of so I'm going to choose the back wall on the left side click once on that to select it and now I can type in 100 to create an offset from that back face. Now if I want to pull on an edge, I can select on an edge and click and drag to pull on that edge creating a rounded feature. I can also choose to pull on an edge 
and highlight the second option in my mini tool guide that pops up which is the chamfer tool. These tool guides are also available in the pull options on the left hand side. So that second option to chamfer when I click and drag to pull that will create a chamfer. And for the time being let's just undo that by clicking on the undo tool up in the quick access toolbar. A few other options when pulling on an edge include extruding the edge and copying the edge. To show extrude edge, double click on the bottom edge below your round. And if you continue double clicking, it'll toggle through all of the edge loops available from that point. So you notice double clicking twice allowed me to select all of the edges around the base of this part. Now I'm going to choose the third option in, which is the extrude edge option. And I'm selecting this from the pull options on the left hand side. The extrude edge option allows me to extrude this edge into a surface. And I can pull that in either of two directions based on the faces coming into that edge. So currently I would be pulling this down but I want to click on the other yellow arrow to toggle my direction outward and now as I click and drag I'm extruding those edges out into a surface which I can then click on and pull down into a base. We can also use the copy edge command. So likewise, let's double click on the edge of the front base here. And again, I can double click again to toggle through until I get the right selection. Now choose the fourth edge manipulation option, which is copy edge. And again, click on the yellow arrow to make sure that I'm pulling outward away from that base. Now click and drag and it'll copy those edges out into the part creating new imprinted edges. And I can pull that face up or down. And if I want it to be completely in line with the inside cutout of that tower then I can click on that face, choose the up to tool guide, and then click on the inside face of that cutout. And you notice that, uh, that it pulls it directly in line. And the final option with edge manipulation in the pull tool is the pivot tool. So for this I'm going to go and grab both of the edges on either side of the back tower. So to do that I control select. I'm holding control down while I select both of those edges and then I click the pivot edge option. Again, I select the yellow arrow to make sure that I'm pulling outward, and then click and drag allows me to pivot that in or out. And after I let go of my left mouse button, I'll type in 15 and hit enter for a definite value. So that concludes the basic training on the pull tool.